So let's write this down again, just um, to summarize this here. So 1 over t is fs, and that's our sampling rate. This was a bit squeezed at the bottom of the other page, just to be sure that we've mentioned that. And so that um, the fs is the, is the rate the analog signal is looked at. Typical sampling rates are, for example, 44 kilohertz. That's um, for a CD, or 48 kilohertz. So that's usually, that's usually the broadcast sampling rate. And um, if you have some window sounds or some notification sounds, they're very often only at 8 kilohertz, or also in telephone communication or so, we're getting also quite lower sampling rate. So that's a rate for audio. Of the sampling rate for video is much is much higher, but these are classical sampling rates for for audio. Audio sampling rates. So this means we are getting eight thousand numbers per second here, forty eight thousand numbers per second, or forty four thousand numbers per second here. So that's quite a lot already. Okay, so now now let's go to point B. So the next step in this um, AD converter is quantization. So quantization now looks looks at the at the actual voltage. So let's draw again our diagram here. So now we've got our x x n here. So we know these are discrete samples. So I'm no longer allowed to to draw a continuous function, but um, what I what I can draw is draw these funny shaped pulses here, and create basically a curve with that. And obviously, we can imagine that this that this was a continuous signal which looks like that, looked like that. Okay, so now we have. Um, these discrete samples here, but still the y-axis here is still continuous. So now we divide this here in different levels here, like that. And so, and then we give every level an index number, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. And so obviously the finer this division, the higher the precision is. And we, in terms of the notation, we could write that this xn is transferred into something like xq of n, and the q defines the, defines the quantization. Obviously the, the finer the finer this here is, the better. So classical quantization steps are, for, for example, um, 65,536. That's classic steps. And this is used, for example, for um, audio, CD, to code, to code music. Again, if you have low quality audio signal where there's no no real no no real reproduction or faithful reproduction required, you can also live with 256 steps. And then in studio in studio applications, we have um, one million steps. <laughs> 